April 21st, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, let's start in Fukushima, shall we? RSOE update number 93. Japan's Prime Minister visited the Fukushima Prefecture as the 20-kilometer evacuation area around the crippled nuclear power plant was officially declared a no-go zone on Thursday. Uh, Japan Today reported, the authorities officially banned all unauthorized entry to areas within 20 kilometer radius of the plant starting from midnight local time. Uh, the Prime Minister was to discuss the plans for strict enforcement of the evacuation zone with local officials and evacuees during his visit. The news portal said, Chief Cabinet Secretary said uh, the move was aimed at preventing radiation exposure and looting. Until Thursday, police could not legally deny entry to evacuees who returned to their homes after evacuation announcement on March the 12th. Japanese officials plan to organize short trips for residents willing to collect their belongings in the near future, despite growing concern of radioactive fallout on the Russian territory. The Russian Emergency Ministry said the radiation levels in Russia Far East remained within the norm and ranged from 11 to 19 micro retigen per hour on Thursday. And that's all they have new today. I'm going to definitely attach a few links, uh, videos below, um, where people are definitely on top of what's going on in uh, Japan. Let's go to EarthChangesScott.net tonight. United Kingdom outbreak of toxic caterpillars in Pangborn. Residents in Pangborn and parts of West London have been warned to steer clear of a toxic caterpillar. The Forestry Commission had issued a caution not to touch the caterpillars of the oak precisionary moth. The hairs contain a, tox a toxin that can cause itchy skin rashes as well as eye and throat infections. Um, so the UK is getting these itchy caterpillars. First tropical weather bulletin of the 2011 hurricane season issued for the Atlantic Ocean. And here we go. Here's the first tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami for the North Atlantic Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. It's an uneasy, unusually early forecast of the potential formation of a tropical weather system about 460 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. According to a special tropical weather outlook issued Wednesday afternoon, the low pressure system has developed shower and thunderstorms, activity near its center, and satellite data and ship reports indicate gale force winds north of the center. So uh, it's looking to be an interesting hurricane season already. Out of the Philippines, intense, in, intensity three quake with rumbling sounds felt near Tal Volcano. And um, this has been ongoing, the Tal Volcano in the Philippines. They are expecting it to go at, at pretty much any time. Russia, spewing volcano threatens Kamachka reindeer. The continued eruption of Kizamin volcano in Kamachka poses a threat to wild reindeer, which are listed as endangered species. Excuse me. As the volcano continues to spew ash for hundreds of kilometers, reindeer are leaving their traditional habitat for lack of fodder. And uh, just climate change there. Here's a crazy story. Arkansas investigating mysterious natural gas flowing from Quitman Well. Arkansas State and Oil and Gas Commission leaders are scratching their heads right now. They're trying to figure out why natural gas started flowing from an abandoned water well in uh, Quitman. An emergency overnight prompted evacuations of three homes. Residents we talked to off camera say they were awakened in the middle of the night around 3.30 Monday morning. Officials asking them to leave their homes after gas pressure in the well forced it to spew out water. And that's crazy. That's, that's brown the area we're doing all the fracking and we've been having those crazy quakes. Floods force hundreds to evacuate in central Canada. 
Persistent flooding in Canada's central province of Manitoba has forced hundreds of people from their homes and closed dozens of roads, authorities said on Tuesday. And this is an ongoing thing I've been reporting on. 3,200 Gulf wells unplugged and unprotected. More than 32 oil and gas wells classified as active lie abandoned beneath the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico, with no cement plugging to help prevent leaks that could threaten the same waters fouled by last year's BP spill. Associated Press has learned. And this story continues. Here's a little something closer to home for me. Iowa. Wintry weather makes farmers anxious. Oat producers didn't mind Saturday's brief snowfall. The weather forecaster this week isn't too discerning, isn't too concerning either. The rest of the northeast Iowa crop farmers, on the other hand, are slight, have a slightly different opinion. Farmers are ready to plant corn and soybeans, but they are waiting for the recent cold snap to dissipate. That may not happen until the end of the week, according to the National Weather Service in Des Moines. Temperatures won't get above 50 degrees until Saturday, and there is a chance of rain or snow ranging from 30 to 80 percent every day through Friday. And the thing is, is the later they plant, the later they can harvest. And uh, fall's been coming pretty early lately. <clears throat> and um, got a winter weather warning. Um, Manawak, and this is in the Green Bay, Green Bay area. I hear they got up to 8 inches of snow. And um, this is all a part of that big system that continues to roll through the United States even today. Wisconsin, U.S. slush and snow sticking around into Wednesday. And over to the extinction protocol. They've got a couple of fear pieces. The United Kingdom plague of worms dis descend on the United Kingdom. Solar cycle 24 exhibits more unusual signs. Is that the dark mid-latitude dark coronal hole we see on the far side of the sun? In the latest 3D simulation of the far side of the sun from NASA satellites, a large coronal hole can be seen around the equatorial region of the sun, but the solar maximum is still one or two years away. And uh, they're just saying that it's gearing up. The sun is becoming very uh, unpredictable, and it's not really going to the way their uh, models were going either. Chicago has coldest spring since 1940. Uh, April 20th out of Chicago. Not only has Chicago dealt with chilly rain, hail, and even snow this week, but temperatures Tuesday were on their lowest for this late spring date since the 1940s. And the story goes on about how they're having an unusually cold spring, as are we here in Des Moines. Tornadoes rampage across the United States, continues 300 sighted since storm outbreak. Severe storms raked portions of southern and central Illinois late on Tuesday, damaging homes, blowing rail cars off of tracks, and leaving thousands of people without power. Several tornadoes reported, but there were no injury reports of injuries. The storm also pelted the region with golf ball size hail and driving rain. And again, this is that same big system just rolling through, and it's just the way it goes. And then they've got the volcano in uh, Kamachka, the Tal volcano in the Philippines. They've got a story, dust and smoke drift over the United States Plain states. Uh, this is about the fires uh, out of Oklahoma. Extreme drought and great in the Great Plains has led to wildfires and now dust storms reminiscent of the Dust Bowl of the 30s. And they've got a picture showing the, the dusts and the smoke and uh, so the drought continues in the southwest United States. Texas battle worst fires, forest fires in 90 years. 1.4 million acres up in flames. And um, sounds like there's a lot of free bacon out there if you're willing to go look for it. Over to the watchers. Um, they're reporting a geomagnetic, geomagnetic storm in progress. Solar wind speeds at 548 kilometers per second, the density 1.9 protons per centimeter to the third power, and they're considering it a, a KP5 storm. And then finally, over to the Disaster Alert Network, 
I'm going to update this quick just to make sure we got everything. Uh, some earthquakes, 5.0 off the east coast of Honshu, Japan, 6.0 off the east coast of Japan. Uh, 6.0 hits eastern Japan. It's off the coast. No, these are all off the coast. I checked the RSOE on these. Flooding in Malawi, South Africa. Another 5.8 off of Japan. Chicago storms force 450 flight ca cancellations at O'Hare or Airport, and they're getting reports of heavy rain and hail in the works. And uh, what else? What else? Swarms of moths threaten Gaza crops. And apparently they're having caterpillar problems too. Five point oh in New Zealand, uh, Kermanic Islands, New Zealand, and they're announcing Japan launches a new search and uh, new search operations for quake tsunami victims. So they're going to dig yet a little deeper. And again, that is about it for me today. Here we are running uh, over eleven minutes again. So if I missed anything, please let me know. I'll leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your help.